All right, let's get back into it. Part two of the Mavic 4 Pro Deep Dive. Last time, we covered everything that got leaked through that wild web shop listing. Shout out to Jasper Ellens via Drone XL and Igor Bogdanov for that intel. But now let's talk about the brains in your hands, the DJI RC Pro 2 controller and the upgraded O4 Plus video transmission. So first up, the display. This thing has a 7 inch mini LED screen that is ridiculously bright. We're talking a peak brightness of 2000 nits, sustained 1600 nits, and insane contrast at 1 million to 1. It's got 10 bit color and covers almost the entire DCI P3 color space, 98% to be exact. What that means in plain English, you're seeing HDR footage from the Mavic 4 Pro in full glory with accurate color preview in D-Log, D-Log M, or HLG, all while you're still flying. The scroll wheel sits just below the 7 inch display. The wheel could adjust aperture, shutter speed, or ISO on the fly, giving cinematographers a physical dial rather than menu diving. Honestly, small tweak, big impact, and thank goodness the sticks are foldable now. No more screwing them on and off every time. You just unfold the controller and boom, it powers on. Fold it back, powers off. Simple. Here's another cool part. The screen rotates, so if you're pairing it with the Mavic 4 Pro, you can instantly flip to vertical shooting. It even syncs the gimbal when you rotate the screen, which is perfect for vertical content. No digging through menus, just turn the screen and go. Audio-wise, the RC Pro 2 comes with a built-in mic for direct recording and even supports the DJI mic kit. So whether you're narrating your shots or picking up ambient sound, you're covered. Plus, there's HDMI out, so you can hook it up to a bigger display and stream or monitor everything without the on-screen UI getting in the way. Battery life? Around 4 hours internal storage, 128 gigs, enough for most shoots. Uh, now in terms of compatibility, the RC Pro 2 works with the Mavic 4 Pro of course, but also the Air 3S, Air 3, and Mini 4 Pro. It supports O4 Plus transmission for more stable signal. That brings us to O4 Plus transmission system. This is what's built into the drone itself, not just the controller, and honestly it's kind of a beast. In perfect conditions, you're looking at a ridiculous 30 kilometer range in FCC regulations. Even in areas with interference, like cities, you're still pulling off 1.5 to 6 kilometers. Suburbs or coastlines, that jumps up to 15 to 30 kilometers. Trees and buildings will cut it down, obviously, but the signal still holds up better than you'd expect. Download speed hits up to 10 megabits per second on O4 Plus and a solid 80 megabits per second on Wi-Fi 6. Latency is low too, around 130 milliseconds when using the RC Pro 2. That's quick enough to feel responsive in the air. The RC Pro 2 has 6 antennas using a 2T4R setup, supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1, and gives you stable control across all the usual frequency bands. So you're getting robust signal coverage with strong transmission, even in tricky environments. 